Instruction for assembly and disassembly of floor drain valves of lens reaction vessels. Reaction vessels are sometimes subject to high temperature fluctuations. Due to the large difference in the expansion coefficients of borosilicate glass and the PTFE spindle of the bottom drain valve, usage faults can induce dangerous stress. This may cause the reaction vessel to break, which of course implies the danger of injuries and economic losses. In order to prevent this from happening, lens reaction vessels are equipped with safety valves. The valve spindle is spring-loaded so that no additional mechanical stress occurs when the temperature changes. Please follow these instructions carefully to ensure that the safety feature works. Configuration of the valve Locking spring Connecting nut Conical seal Spacer ring Pitch of spring Installation of the valve Make sure that there is no visible damage to the valve Remove adjusting screw completely and then screw it in again circa 5 mm. Place the connecting nut on the valve's glass part so that the bore on the side points to the reaction vessel. Push the spacer ring and conical seal onto the valve spindle. Insert the valve spindle into the glass part. If valve spindles are difficult to assemble, insert the spindle using gentle circular movements. Turn the valve body so that its locking pin fits into the notch in the glass part. Screw the connection nut halfway in, insert the locking spring and tighten the connection nut. Use only a slight force to tighten the components. Handling of the valve To close the valve, screw the adjusting screw in until the spindle hits the valve seat. Screw on carefully to the limit point. You will need increased torque because now the spring of the valve spindle is tightened. After reaching the final point, Turn the adjusting screw at least half a turn back to provide some expansion space for the spring. 